what's up y'all it's y'all boy candle bruh and what's up screen how y'all doing i first video i got for y'all is sit into vert versus one oh my god you still on sit introvert versus one introvert yeah without further ado we about to go ahead and get into it hey good humans welcome to season four of odd man out and this episode i'm not a human but it's brought to you by NordVPN. Stick around after the episode for a special offer from NordVPN and learn how to unlock Netflix while you're traveling abroad. But for now, enjoy the episode. What comes to your mind when you think of introverts? Shy. Socially awkward. Soft-spoken. Loneliness. Do you put them in a box based on biases heard from the media, your peers, or just unknown sources? As you play along this episode of Odd Man Out, think of how you pick them up. No lie, I'm an introvert. Until I get around people that I actually like to be around. Even sometimes when I'm around people I won't be around, I still be quiet. We brought together seven introverts. I am an introvert. I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. I am an introvert. I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. I'm an introvert. One is a lie. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. This is Odd Men Out. The speed silence round was really awkward because I just felt like everybody was like trying to look into my soul and like determine if I was a, an introvert or not. I could sit down and quiet the whole time, if I'm being honest. I did about a few weeks ago. I overran a whole bunch of people and I was just quiet, bruh. Oh my god. Okay. Physically or the way my mannerisms are, I come off as an extrovert, so yeah, expect it. And I think it's funny too, because you put a bunch of introverts in a box and expect them to be like, you know, picking people out. And it's like, nah, we're not, we don't do that. Hi. <laughs> Hi. I'm about to say, I know the V ain't it about to see people being quiet this whole time. If I won't do that, I could sleep. I think this is very fitting. I know. Right. <laughs> um, what do you guys like to do like, when you guys are have free time for yourselves? Uh, I like to watch TikTok. Um, <laughs> Eat, sleep, play the game. I take my dog to the dog park, stuff like that. For me, being introverted is how I gain my energy. And I gain energy from having a long time and being able to recharge and focus on getting myself back to a place where I can interact with people. You know, every time I like to paint sometimes, like go to the beach or hike. Yeah, I really like running um, and hiking, like spending time in nature. Uh, well, I love to like watch Netflix, and then I also like writing as well. It's like kind of like my creative outlet, I guess. Yeah. I just like chill at home, watch like YouTube videos. When I'm not doing anything, I just kind of want to be like nobody bother me, nobody like knock on my door. I feel that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shut, door lock. My strategy going into the game was to just like maybe 
pick up on like the way that people were like standing or like just the way people held themselves as they came across as more like confident or more sure of themselves. Do you guys prefer like calling or like texting people? Texting. texting. Depending on who you is. Depending on who you is. Cause sometimes I, I text you. And sometimes I, I'll call you. Depending on what we talking about. Depending on if I feel like being bothered with. Cause I gotta have it or not texting people back or calling back. Yeah. <laughs> I like that you can think of what you're gonna say exactly. before you write it and then yeah. you send it and you can I mean, like, like on the notes app. like no tell me you're gonna call me yeah. I can just like all right I'm, yeah. gonna, like, <laughs> I'm in the bathroom <laughs> I think I did talk a lot at first because I was trying to just say something so I wasn't voted off um too early um what do you guys think is like the hardest part of being an introvert meeting new people yeah um, yeah <laughs> I've tried like kind of opening myself up I've been in school for like five years my only friend is like my friend from high school so like didn't work out so well yeah for me like giving speeches and like public speaking mm -hmm. oh my god I had a speech yesterday in my class <laughs> not go well thank you for rendering your assistance I see you're also an adept exorcist some of your techniques look quite familiar so I'm wondering <laughs> I just freak out like see I can give a speech I just don't like to do it because I don't like my voice. But I can give a speech though. <laughs> For me, it's like in large group settings feeling overlooked or like mm -hmm. not considered since I'm not immediately like vocal about all my opinions and stuff. So like I'm thinking about it and like composing my thoughts and want to say stuff. But you know, sometimes in those situations, like everyone talks over and then the moment goes away. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. Yeah. yeah. Um. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very friendly and bubbly and that maybe came across as like outgoing so they maybe pinpointed me for that we started have you guys ever done any like the i can tell she's not no extrovert because you like she just do it to be chill for but she really don't like dealing with people personality test oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Like, yeah. It is, what was your guys like Mine's yeah. sign. Okay, I'm an INFJ. Yeah. Okay, I think mine is the same. But then, like, the advocate? Yeah. I don't know, like, the letters, but it's turbulent me mediator, I believe, or something like that. I think it's, like, INFPT or something like that. Yeah. I'm an INFP, INFP too. Oh, okay, so, cool. Yeah. Cool. Wait, yeah, no, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh, uh, you are ready to go. Suspect, but I you, you are ready to go. I really don't know. To be frank, I don't even know what they're talking about either. Yeah. <laughs> but when they started talking about, like, IF, or I don't know the order. I was seriously clueless, so I thought I was going to be out once they started doing that. So, like, what do you guys think you struggle with the most with being, like, an introvert? Like, it's like, like a misconception? Yeah, because, like, that's what I'm, you know, I don't know where it's. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say for me, they just assume that, like, I hate people. Like, I've been told a lot that I seem intimidating at first, since I'm so, like, reserved, and I have, like, People think I'd be high all the time, so. Like my shell. I, like the reason I brought it up is because like a lot of people assume like I'm not confident uh -huh. and like they're like, oh, you just need to be more outgoing. And I'm like, I'm really confident in myself. Like I know who I am, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean like I can't be introverted at the same time. Just because you're an introvert doesn't mean you're like a complete hermit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody's on a spectrum. So people aren't a hundred percent an introvert or a hundred percent an extrovert. We all have like tendencies of both. Because, no, like, if you think about it, there are very few things in the world where, like, somebody's 100% one thing. I actually do talk a lot, yeah. like, with, like, my close friends. Yeah. Like, with my family, like... I don't shut up. Like, yeah, this is what I'm comfortable with. I don't shut up. But, like, outside, like, social, public places, I, like, I'm more reserved. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and with strangers, too, I just, like, don't... But, yeah. Yeah, same. Like, I feel like I need my energy. So I don't like to give that out too much, but I don't want people, like you were saying, to think that like we're boring people, yeah, you know, because yeah. we can have fun, but it just depends on who we're with, so. Yeah, I feel that. Exactly. But I'm like really emotional though, mm -hmm. so it's like, like with my close friends, I like let all of it out. 
but then with people I'm not really like close with, it's just like silent. Yeah. <laughs> you better than me, I can must have bought damn. I voted for Alex because I could see him at a party, like, having fun. He just kind of had a bubbly personality to me. <laughs> when I'm, like, surrounded by other introverts, I'll notice I'll be the one to just kind of, like, step up and talk more. So I think maybe people saw that I was being, like, that I was a little bit more comfortable within the group. So they kind of saw that as maybe, like, an extrovert. Raise your hand if you have any doubt and would like to continue the game. So, dating, how do you guys go about dating? It's hard. I have a girlfriend, but we're both introverts and we're both really independent. We know like when to give each other space and like we know that it doesn't mean that we don't care or love each other less. It just means like we need to recharge, like we don't have to constantly talk all the time and like we both really respect that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know, dating for me is hard. I need to put myself out there more because I'm like, I want to date, you know, like I want to find somebody, but at the same time, it's just that like meeting up part and it's just like, I don't want to do it, you know? I'm How about not you? like good with like approach. Well, I usually don't approach people, but like when I get approached, I kind of I have a bad habit of like ghosting or just like. It's the ghosting <laughs> part. Not yeah. like oh, yeah. just <laughs> lagging a lot. I'm like, mm -hmm. you want to go out? And I'm like, sure. And I'm like, 20 minutes before, I'm like, sorry. I don't doubt. I'm sorry. I can't. You like his I'm like, face, right? Yeah, so like, I hate clinginess, so like I wouldn't want to spend time with someone like every day, same. Uh, maybe. I don't even have time for it, so. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I like being able to be to myself and do what I want on my free time without anybody getting offended of why I don't want them around, do you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah, so I'm trying to work on that. She just seemed very calm to me. As for mostly everyone else, they seem more nervous and kind of anxious. You guys deal with like anxiety or anything oh, yeah, like all the that? Time. Like <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys have like a method for anxiety? Like how to calm down? Like how do you guys recharge? I'm still looking for one. Like I have a really hard time like coming down when I'm really anxious. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like hard for me because I, I shut down completely. Like I can't talk or anything when I'm really anxious. So it's more mostly like just me sitting and like staring at a wall. Yeah. Yeah, for me it's like music or just kind of like deep breathing. Yeah, same. Like the way I go to sleep, because I have like insomnia, like I can't go to sleep. And so like I'll play like the meditation music on YouTube and it kind of just like mellows me out because I overthink a lot and that's mm -hmm. what keeps me up at night. I'm saying they're kind of why I keep the TV on all the time, but they still don't help. I don't like being alone with my thoughts. I really don't. I feel like I have them already. Like, <laughs> Damn. Uh. I look like somebody who like engages and is social and out there. So I thought in the first round that people would vote me off just off of the first look, but I was surprised that I stayed so long. Raise your hand if you have any doubt. My vibes are like. <laughs> if the lights turn green, you go to the mall out. If the lights turn red, the mall is still in the box and you lose. <laughs> I hope it's okay. I've never done this. I've never explained this to anybody. Hey, yo, this is how we get it every day, though. Okay, right there. Bam. Reaching the last round and losing was really heartbreaking. I was pretty upset because I thought we had it. I thought we had them all out. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, you were the last person I would have voted for. It was really hard. <laughs> all I do is talk, and not being able to talk is painful. I've never been so fooled in my life. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just want to say I was like very sincere about my answers. Like I do feel that way about introverts. Like I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions. Like I feel bad. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm 100% on the extrovert side. What? Uh, I'm an ENFJ. My number one passion is communication and like meeting people and getting to know them. And that gives me like more energy than anything. Like I could spend every single day with someone. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> How many did you win?
one of the biggest misconceptions about being like an introvert or being extrovert. Uh, for introverts, you typically think someone who's antisocial, someone who's generally like very quiet. But what it really means is that we as introverts just get energy from ourselves. Like we need to like if we need some space, we get that from reading a book or you know watching some Netflix, as they were saying. Being introverted to me means just being able to like have a small circle and being comfortable with that. You don't really need like too many interaction with a lot of people. I came to this show to kind of uh, represent another type of introvert. I wanted to represent more extroverted introverts and show that like it's perfectly fine that if you don't fit like every single like if you don't check off every single trait that an introvert is like supposed to be. Okay, cool. You don't want your money? Oh yeah. I was about to say. Do I just like collect it? Sometimes I'll see another lady walking down the street wearing a hijab and I want to say something. Oh, hey, I know damn well she's not about to leave that money. Oh my god. But y'all, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, comment down on the channel, and we out.